Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 15 The Show. This is Row the Show with Simon Unger. This is episode 94, and we are getting ready for a series here on our road trip here uh, on the East Coast here and head out to Boston to Fenway Park to play against the Boston Red Sox. Now in the last episode, you've seen we lost three of the four games there in New York against the Yankees, only winning game three there. And Simon had a rough time there in uh, in uh, the Bronx there. So he's ready to get out of New York and head up to New England to face off against the Boston Red Sox, who right now are in, in uh, third place right now in the American League East. And they are eight games out of first place uh, there, as you see right there on your screen. And they are hoping to gain some ground against us, of course, that's not what we want to do, and of course we just made some trade. Uh, well, actually we made a trade with uh, the Giants. We got Brandon Crawford, who just made his debut in the last episode there against the Yankees. Uh, he played, and now we got him on the team. So that's gonna be nice. That's gonna uh, help us there with the DH, and of course playing. Uh, he plays shortstop, so him and Simon will uh, trade off every once in a while. Uh, get him, uh, you know, those dicks or days off and whatnot. So there you see the career stats there for Simon Unger, of course. Uh, there you see 35 home runs and 90 RBIs for him for this season. And, of course, this is, again, we've seen this happen, uh, I think, uh, what was it, two episodes ago. Unger talking to his coach, talking to some coaches, talking, get, just getting some feedback about what they're going to try to do there with the front office uh, for the team about possibly maybe getting some pitching. Now, they did get uh, Sergio Romo as a closer, uh, and now they just, uh, you know, of course Simon wants to see maybe more uh, of a push for maybe another uh, starter or another reliever because really the relieving has been um, kind of uh, just kind of lackadaisical and not really uh, holding on to win, you know, hold on to leads or anything. So we'll have to see what he does here in this ball game here. Top of the first here, he's going to pop this one up. And, of course, uh, that's the only thing he needs to be worried about right now is just his bat and what he can do with that bat. As right there, you don't want to see your best hitter do that as he gets underneath the ball there. We'll see show from show track here exactly where it was pitched at. And, yeah, that one, he chops that one right at the butt of the uh, ball there. Now we'll go to the 0-2 pitch here for his next at bat. This one's going to get skied out to deep right field there and... Yep, that's going to be an out right there. That's going to be a second out. His second pop-up in this ball game. We'll go to now the top of the fifth here. Down by a run. As we'll see again, uh, not what you want to see from your uh, your hottest hitter right now, who's uh, been on fire throughout the whole season. Pop up another uh, ball there. So now it's 10 now. 10, uh, 10 5 now here in the seventh. Here we'll see Unger. He'll pop this one high and deep out to right field. This one has enough to go over the wall. Nice job going over the monster. That's going to be a home run there for Unger. And I believe that is home run number 36 for him. So nice job there from Unger. He gets finally something on the board here for his teammates. As that's a solo shot there. We'll see the replay here. He hits this one 330 feet deep to right field, or, or not right field, left field there. And, yeah, that one uh, is long gone and definitely a souvenir for a fan as that one actually drops back into the play there. So top of the eighth now, 12-2 here, or 12-7 uh, now. And we'll see here, this is going to be a double here as we're going to see him slide in there and get his second base hit of the day. So this time a single, or, or I should say a home run, and a double in this ball game. And he gets himself there in a scoring position here and is hoping to try to maybe come back in this ball game here as they're down by several. And we'll see here, final score 12-7 to there. Red Sox win this one as they, uh, Cueto gets a sixth loss there. And Unger is 2-for-5 in that ball game with a home run, an RBI, and a double. So now we'll go to game two of this series here. There you see the numbers for both teams. And there you see Unger now leading the Blue Jays with 36 home runs with 91 RBIs. We'll see what he can do here in his first at-bat here, top of the first. 
And I swear this is not a, just not showing the same footage from the first game. He pops that one up, this time going to deep uh, to actually shallow center field there as the shortstop makes a play there. Now top of the third here, Red Sox are up by five here. So runners on first and uh, first and third there. That's going to be a double here for Unger as he gets one RBI in there. Now makes it now a RBI double there for him. And now has runners in at second and third. So we got a good opportunity here. Got runners in scoring position here. We can do something as you see the replay here from Unger. Nice even swing on that one, taking that one. Driving that one out to the outfield. Now we'll see here his next at bat. Another good job here as he get a single there. And that's going to get him a base hit. So good job there. Turning things around, especially from that first game there. And not popping the ball up as you see the pitcher there. Just having a rough time so far. There You see his numbers there. And he is hoping that not to face Unger anymore. Now we'll go here to the, uh, looks like we're going to go to the next at bat there he'll end up flying that one out and that will be snagged there by the right fielder there and Unger will get 33 points for that at bat we'll see here replay and yeah that one just gets hit hard I mean it could have been a good uh, double but it just gets hit out there hard and right fielder is paying attention he gets out there and gets it so now we got runners on first and uh, first and third again that's gonna drive in a runner here as we'll see that's gonna be a base hit there for him and there again, another uh, single there. That's going to be an RBI single there as Kendrick comes in there and scores on the play. We'll see here. Blue Jays win this one 11 to 8. Nice uh, score as Sergio Romo comes in, gets his 23rd save of the season there for. Uh, of course, I think that I believe that's his first single as a Blue Jay there, but he's 23rd overall. For the season, there you see 150 hits so far this season. He'll get 150 points there, Unger will. And Unger is uh, helps out and get that big win there against the Red, uh, Red Sox there. So nice win there. Three for five in that ball game, a double and two RBIs. Now game three here. This is the rubber match. There you see the numbers there. Series, he's five out of ten, so he's around the 500 mark there. We'll see what he can do here with this at bat. Nice hit right there out to shallow center field there. That's going to score a run. He's going to go try to go for a double here, and he does get in there. But I believe they're going to go ahead and just give him a single as there was an air out there to center field. Now this one going up the middle there. Nice play. He'll get another base hit there, and that's now two base hits in this ball game here against the Red Sox. So you see Lester's numbers. Uh, you see five hits already, four runs, four earned runs, three strikeouts, and only 28 pitches so far in this ball game. Now top of the six here, Red Sox are up by two, and there you see Unger trying to outrun that one, but unfortunately just cannot get enough get up and go on that one, and that will be an out. So Lester getting settled down some here, but just getting ruffled up here. And the early part of this ball game, we'll see if things will turn around here. Still, the uh, Red Sox are still up by two here, top of the eighth. We'll see here, 0-2 pitch here. That one is comes off the bat weirdly, and oh, that's going to get him a double as that one goes actually stays fair. And now we'll see, or hopefully we'll see a replay of that. That ball came off the bat funny there, and I thought usually something like that happens. Usually it's going to be a uh, pop up and an easy play there for a fielder. Uh, especially for a infielder, but that one right there, this is a takes a funny hop, and there you see rolls down the line there, and it stays fair of all things. But uh, we'll see here. The Red Sox will win this one to hold the, on to the win uh, with the lead there. They'll win this one six to four. Final score. Red Sox now are seven games out of uh, seven games uh, out of first place there, as we are just holding on to that lead there. So the 62 and 43 record. You see Rays 59 and 46. They're just three games behind us. And both, well, actually all three teams out of the last ten games are four and six right now. So, again, it's getting very tight here in this uh, division right now. Now we got the Red Sox now. They, if they play some good baseball here uh, for another, another, what, another week or two, they could be up there with the Rays. Uh, they can even probably even leapfrog us uh, if we keep uh, playing the way we've been playing as of late. So, Hopefully uh, we can turn things around here, and hopefully 
the team, um, you know, the front office will make some changes here. Maybe get some more better, uh, get some help with the pitching, and also with mainly really for the bullpen. We need some bullpen help, and we can uh, move on for the rest of the season here with uh, some with extended bullpen help. Well, also too, I mean, we gotta gotta have our stars like guys like Cole Hamels to eat up some innings here. And I think Cole has been eating up quite a bit of innings here, but it just hasn't. Um, I mean, I think it's just the bullpen. I think the bullpen just lets go, just uh, you know, just unravels when we have a you know, especially a good healthy lead. They end up uh, giving up too many runs, and we got to try to change those things. So we'll see what the front office will do. Hopefully, they'll take some consideration uh, with uh, Unger making uh, his. Um, you know, voicing his opinion there in the public. So we'll see what he'll do here. Of course, he's you know he's known for doing that before. He did that in uh, or there in Minnesota, and that's how he got traded to um, Blue Jays. So hey, you, you never know. You may get traded again here. So we'll have to see what the case will be. But we do have uh, there. You see, going back home, we'll have uh, the Yankees for that three-game series there, and we'll see uh, if there's any trade rumors. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors saying that uh, Unger could be traded here, possibly to an NL team. Hmm, I wonder who that team could be. We'll have to find out and see if that's true or not. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and check out other great series here on ESGNNet. Not to mention you guys can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. And to get the latest on uh, anything that's going on with ESGNNet. As always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.